I just recovered from fever, so bear with my sore throat. I think it necessary to discuss with you the art of solving MCQs because the INICT is knocking on the door and none of the topper knows all the answers. They simply rule out options and mark the correct answer. So I am going to show you with my residual knowledge after two years. Coming to the first question, a 50 year old woman presents with gradual loss of visual equity in the right eye. A CT scan contrast reveals thickening of the optic nerve sheath complex and a tram track appearance. What is the most likely diagnosis? So there is thickening of the optic nerve complex means any disease related to the optic nerve. It could be optic sheath meningioma. It could be optic nerve glioma, retinoblastoma, more of the eyeball content it involves. So it is ruled out. It specifically does not just involve the nerve. In CT scan, you will see ocular calcification and all. Optic neuritis, yes, it could be the option. But see, in the question, there is mentioned CT scan. Optic neuritis can't be diagnosed in CT scan. It can be diagnosed only in the MRI. So this is also ruled out. Now, tram track appearance means there is the optic nerve. Here there will be calcification and here there will be calcification. In which of the cases you can get calcification? Optic nerve glioma, there will be fusiform swelling. But optic nerve sheath meningioma because in meningioma of the brain also you see dural tail sign and calcification. So more chances that optic nerve sheath meningioma will have the calcification and tram track appearance and that is the correct option see i didn't know the answer i just ruled out the options now let's see the images this is the optic nerve glioma the nerve is fusiform swelling it is isodense not tram track calcification because there is no calcification this is retinoblastoma inside the eyeball there is calcification as i said not involving the nerve so this is not going to be the answer and this is the optic nerve sheath meningioma see the tram track appearance here there is hyperdense then isodense then hyperdense so this is the classical tram track appearance these all are important questions and have been previously asked in recent neat pg or inicd Coming to the next question, which of the following is least likely to have the following radiograph appearance? Now what you can see in the radiograph, just see and appreciate what you can see. We can see hyperdensity. So in this condition, the bone formation is more. What is cafe's disease? I don't have any idea. So not going with that. Sickle cell disease plus minus. Paget's disease, yes, it will be seen in Paget's disease because there is bone in bone appearance and there is more osteoblastic activity. So bone will be hyperdense. So Paget's disease, it will be seen. This is ruled out completely. Coming to hyperparathyroidism. In hyperparathyroidism, there will be bone resorption. In the human skull, you can see salt and paper appearance of the human skull because there is bone resorption. In hyperparathyroidism, there will be bone resorption and this appearance can't be seen. So the answer will be hyperparathyroidism. I marked it and it came out to be correct. Let's see the explanation. The radiograph gives a bone in bone appearance. I didn't understand it was a bone in bone appearance. So without knowing the diagnosis also, you can make the correct answer if you apply your common sense during the exam hall. Now they have given causes of bone in bone appearance, osteopetrosis, Paget's disease, Caffey's disease, sickle cell anemia. These all are the examples. Now is it humanly possible to remember all the names because you have so many other scoring, CAP scoring, TNM staging to remember. Is it possible to remember all the examples of bone in bone appearance? No, right? So you have to apply the logic which I applied that in hyperparathyroidism there will be bone resorption bone will be less dense there will be lytic lesions in the bone but here it is more dense so hyperparathyroidism is the answer next question 
what is the diagnosis you can see there is scarring alopecia this is lichen planopilaris this is lichen planus lesions violet in the white skin type these are wickhamstria and this is trachyonachia or 20 nail dystrophy so this is seen in lichen planus in pityriasis rosea what you will see colorate of scales and a christmas tree distribution like this on the back psoriasis you will see silvery scaling in pityriasis rubra pilaris there will be erythematous patches with islands of sparing and palmo plantar keratoderma see lichen planus i have covered very well in my digital image bank you can see this is shown in indian skin type because in the exam they are more likely to show you images of the indian skin type in oral lichen planus only you can see wickhamstria pterygium you can see there are other lichen also lichen sclerosus lichen nitidus and lichen planus pigmentosus so the link of the image bank is given in the description box below and in the pinned comment section it has thousand plus images of all the 19 subjects so don't forget to check it out coming to the next question which of the following is not a treatment option in alcohol withdrawal syndrome in alcohol intoxication for a chronic duration there is thiamine deficiency thiamine deficiency means pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is deficient for that the carbohydrate metabolism is also hampered so what you will have to give at first is thiamine iv thiamine and if there are acute withdrawal symptoms like the delirium tremens then you have to give the bzds the benzodiazepines in bzds you can give lorazepam oxazepam temazepam love the liver l for lorazepam o for oxazepam t for temazepam and chlorodiazepoxide also you can give lot that is lorazepam oxazepam and temazepam are safe for liver failure so they are preferred more with that you will give iv thiamine after iv thiamine you will give iv dextrose or a high calorie diet why after this because agar tum thiamine nahi doge so pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is totally shattered and there is thiamine deficiency if you give iv dextrose first there will be more thiamine deficiency and there will lead to more severe symptoms so antipsychotic is the correct answer because lorazepam chlorodiazepoxide high calorie diet with multivitamins that is they want to mean the thiamine you are going to give coming to the next question which of the following is not associated with the given condition this is acne rosacea so photosensitivity will be seen blepharitis will be seen flushing will be seen but comedones are not seen you have read in your notes and in your video lectures that comedones are classical for acne vulgaris they are the pathognomonic lesions in my digital image bank also i had mentioned that open comedones closed comedones these are of acne vulgaris and nodulocystic acne which is asked repeated number of times in the nict in acne rosacea you will see teranjectasia flushing in fourth stage you can see rhinophyma also for which treatment of choice is co2 laser excision coming to the final question of the day now with the image you will have to diagnose only one option you can rule out that this is not a case of basal cell cancer so you can rule out this option all the three others are appendageal tumor if i were in your place mere ko bhi iska answer pata nahi tha mere ko pg mein hi pata chala so in ideal scenario for nict exam where there is minus 0.33 marks as negative marking i would have left this question unattempted okay because it is not judicious that if you rule out only one option then you should mark if you can rule out two options then definitely you should go and mark the question this is actually a case of cylindroma because you can see the jigsaw puzzle appearance जिक्सो पजल होता है ना उसके जैसा ही शेप में दिखाई दे रहा है ना सारा जो स्ट्रक्चर्स दिखाई दे रहा है तुमको डर्मिस में सो जिक्सो पजल अपियरेंस इन अ केस ऑफ सिलिंड्रोमा नाउ क्लिनिकली इट इज बीइंग सीन लाइक दिस दिस इज बिफोर एक्सीशन एंड दिस इज आफ्टर एक्सीशन 
so i hope with this video you are going to get an idea how to solve mcqs if you like this video then do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and in the pinned comment section you will also get the link to my whatsapp channel group where i regularly post mcqs and marrow custom modules specifically curated for the inict exam so do join my whatsapp community also all the best for your inict exam